Okay, I just want to preface this video by saying I do not condone cheating. And this is for educational purposes only. Yeah, right, okay, whatever. You guys are using it to cheat. I definitely know that. Anyway, I'm going to be showing you how to get visible health bars for the monsters in Monster Hunter Rise. This will only work on PC, so sorry if you're on console or anything like that, but this isn't going to work for you. First things first, you're going to want to head over to Nexus Mods. All of the links are in the description, so just go and follow those and it'll be super easy to go and install. So, the three mods you're going to need to install are called RE Framework, RE Framework Direct 2D, and Monster Hunter Overlay. Now that you've gone and installed all three of those files, what you're going to want to do is extract the RE Framework folders. As for the Monster Hunter Rise overlay, all you're going to want to do is grab the RE Framework folder and throw it where I tell you. Just watch the video and do exactly what I do. Easy as pie. You also just want to take the DLL file out of RE Framework 26 and that's all you need from that folder, so you can just leave it. Now instead of three files you should only have two, those being the RE Framework folder and the DLL file. Now that you've got those two files, what you're going to want to do is navigate to your game files. You can either do this manually by going to Steam, Common, all of that or you can right click on the game in your Steam library and go browse local files. I recommend this as by far it is the fastest and easiest way, but do as you want. Once you've opened that up, all you need to do is drag those two files directly into that window and then you're done. From this point, all you've got to do is load up the game and check that it's working. So, when you initially load up the game, you will see a new window pop up in the top left-hand corner. And if you want to toggle this on and off, you just have to click the Insert button. From this point, all you're going to want to do is click on Script Generated UI in the menu and double-click on the mod you just installed. And everything is pretty self-explanatory from there, I'm not going to insult your intelligence. But, if you would like a more in-depth guide on this video showing off all the settings and such, just, uh, yeah, leave a comment. Just for clarification, the reason I downloaded this mod myself is because I'm working on a new series in secret that probably none of you will never see because yeah, my uploads have been really inconsistent lately. Like, months worth inconsistent. Which is crazy. Anyway, I will see you all in the next video. If you enjoyed, like, all that good stuff. And I am trying to upload every Saturday. So, tune in for that. If there isn't a piece of new content up, there will be a stream.